Okay, so ninety percent of the elements are up. End of day. Guys, I had a beer and gone home. The final end uh, rail or tube, the longitudinal one to finish and join the ends um, on this outside of the eaves. That still has to go in, but we have to buy that tomorrow. And so they'll angle cut the, the tubes coming down. That will sit on the end. It'll sit vertical rather than angled and we'll have a face here put on there so we'll start again tomorrow now the other thing that's happening you can see a lot of earth here this walkway between the house along the edge of the dam going to where that new building is which is also beyond that flower patch one um, was a better foot underwater when the wet season was here and we had all that rain there's quite a drop um, almost uh, I'll just back up a bit so you can see almost probably a meter from the concrete of the house down to that walkway and um, it was about a foot or more underwater this this walking path so uh, it's told telling me that I thought it'd be a good idea to raise that so what we've done is we've got the man and the tractor to come in again and he is scraping soil from in the uh, the rubber trees we did want to have soil delivered by truck but there's none close at the moment and, and the closest one which is not close is going to be 250 baht a truck which is about 50 to 70 baht more than what you normally pay so um, we get that admission we decided what we'll do is we'll scrape in the rubber trees here and we'll build this end up a bit Maybe that'll alleviate the actual water accumulation, maybe it'll aggravate it. But the solution is that when the, um, the soil is cheaper, maybe um, they're down, back down to about 180 or 200 a truck, we'll get some truckloads dropped in and bring it back up if it's not quite right. But that's fine. So he'll put that in. He may actually drive the tractor lengthways along it to compress it a bit for us, or sculpt it a bit. But if he doesn't, that's no great drama. I'll go through with a, um, a hand pick and um, I'll shape it to what we want and maybe put a bit of water on it to make it settle. But uh, that's where we're at at the moment. So. You guys be here for probably another 15 minutes and then they'll be over. The light's going. It's been really, really windy today. I don't know if you can see the trees are moving here a little bit. Yeah. It was all windy last night. And it's quite cool. As soon as sundown occurred, it was even cooler. So, yeah, you can see a banana tree that's blowing there a bit in the wind and yeah it's going to be a chilly one again tonight but all good guys moving right along okay this area here beside the dam was considerably lower and in this last wet season, which was a bit wetter than we'd had, um, this was a foot underwater, but we've now raised it considerably compared to where it was. Here's the man in the tractor. 
and he did this the other day there you go but we wanted a blue poly pipe put underneath us to drain this section of land into the dam like we had before but that kind of disappeared with all of the earth moving so you can there's it doesn't look big but that's a, a four inch or a hundred mil pipe which will be adequate for what we're doing and that will transfer any water here to the other side of which the dog's running on now which is our walkway from the house to that section of land was flower patch one seedling patch one i've called it many things during the videos guys <laughs> but you get the gist coffee shops over there the guys have been in and they're having to do a lot of detail stuff so it doesn't look like they've done a lot but there's been a lot of small welding gussets brackets and things that had to be manufactured um, and they have got up this it's a cement board like a weather board um, I don't know how to describe it in olden days you might have called it fibro cement which would have been an asbestos and cement mix but asbestos is not friendly to people or the environment so um, there's substitutes nowadays they use other fibers but that's what it is it comes in multiple colors this is pretty well the stock color you see pretty much the same as the coffee shop was same type of material but, uh, so that's gone up as the end plate on this side and the other side they put in some elements on top of the front like of the apex or the A-frame and that will be boarded in the same material which they're doing at the moment but we're coming close to the end of the day so I don't expect we'll be doing a heat more in that respect before they down tools and what else can I tell you oh unexpected a neighbor has a farm but sidelines also so the um, compressed cement blocks that are so common in building here these are not the thing thick and double style these are the single style had a talk to Talony about that but we're going to go with these ones we think it will be suitable with the building methods that um, our friend is going is doing but what happened was the guy came with a truck and a trailer and he just come back from somewhere he sidelined still on these blocks and he shot a block with him so we ended up buying a thousand <coughs> I don't know if anybody's done any real calculations as to how many we're going to need but the front wall from memory was uh, 600 so a thousand might be getting close to <laughs> what we'll need for this, uh, this structure but we'll see of course we've also got to put another um, structure out the back a small one a structure of convenience so if there are more blocks than we need for the main building well that's no great drama I feel we'll probably have to buy more but that's cool all good you got any ideas of what it's going to be when the sun's going down over the yard arm <laughs> put them in the comments and we'll see where we get with it <laughs> but uh, oh before I close off prematurely I'll give you a view of the, the front where they're working now I've got a dog under my feet so if I can shade the sun out I'll go this side and angle away from it that would be a smart thing to do for a person with a camera wouldn't it yeah so you can see the area that they're working in they put in some uprights one two three either side to divide that 
I call it an A-frame and these boards go on and they go on in an overlapping method um, if you look at the side of the coffee shop I'll get closer um, I'm just going to be a bit careful here because we've got bits of wood here that have got nails breaking out of them but if you look here you can see that one overlaps the other so uh, that's pretty common worldwide for that style of thing and that's how the boards work that's what's happening up here now so all good keep guessing and we'll get there guys <laughs>